saltwater crocodiles are often spotted lying around in the sun, but Australian researchers have revealed that it's just as important for these reptiles to remain cool. So what did they discover? And what can the research tell us about Aussie crocs? I study crocodile body temperature. And the reason that this is interesting is because unlike us, crocs are cold blooded. That means that their internal temperature is just the same as whatever environment they're in. They can't keep it regulated. Frocks are almost the same temperature as the water where they live almost all of the time. What we found that was really interesting is that there were periods of time in summer where their body temperature got quite cool and there were periods of time in winter where their body temperature got quite warm. So we think they must be doing something to warm up and cool down, like basking in the sun, for example. And that's really interesting. My research uses remote technology. So the crocs have sensors attached to them and I can pick up what their body temperature is when they live in Cape York and I'm down here in Brisbane. But to know what they're doing, we'd have to actually go and watch what happens, what behaviors are taking place when we see changes in their recorded body temperature. I work with a population of crocs that live on the Wenlock River on Cape York, and this study has been happening since 2008, so we've just nearly finished year 16. It's a really incredible study. Um, to date, we have put uh, recording devices, tracking tags, on 270 crocs. Of those, about 160 had good quality body temperature recordings that I was able to use for this study. This is the first step into seeing how these crops are going to cope with climate change. And from here, of course, we'd want to look at long-term trends, seeing if they're getting hotter over time and seeing if that means they have to put more effort and more time into this cooling behavior. Because it's useful that they can do it, but of course it takes time and energy away from things like diving, looking for food, looking for mates, traveling for shelter. And so there's potentially a risk that is going to uh, overtake some of those behaviors if things heat up too much. Crocs obviously get very, very big. The biggest ones in our population are over four and a half meters in total length. And what we see time and again is they get to do the heating up. They get to do the cooling down and the class of crocs, particularly males that are just a rung below that, pretty much don't get any opportunities for this behavior. So you can think of it like this little upstart croc, I say little, four meters long, you know, has found a nice spot on the riverbank and the big guy comes along and says, no, that's my bank and kicks him off. That's again where observation would be really interesting, but it gives us some insight into the social dynamics that are potentially happening there. Thank you so much for joining us. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and head to the comments to let us know what topics you'd like us to cover in the future.